a little tick mark for every time we say boho. really excited because I have a special guest here. This Hi. is Lynette Sine and I've been such a huge fan of her videos for the longest time and we've been friends for a while now and we're finally collaborating. Today. Yay! This is a long time coming. Yeah. We always see each other I guess like at all the beauty yeah, events. Yeah, we always run into stuff. each other. And then of course through social media I feel like I see her all the time. Right? <laughs> but it's just fun and we're just getting to know each other and hanging out at my house. Yay! So thank you for having me over. So Lynette has a beauty channel, a beauty and lifestyle channel. It started with like a lot of lot of nail art. So if you're a nail art fan, definitely go back and check out some of my videos. I have lots of that. But then I started getting into a little bit more lifestyle stuff. I'm getting married. So I've been doing <laughs> some like wedding videos, which is really fun. So you know, I'm just kind of doing a lifestyle beauty stuff. I'm such a huge fan of her style. She has this amazing bohemian style, so I thought it'd be perfect to grab her <laughs> to grab her for this video because we are gonna share with you guys 10 bohemian wardrobe essentials. So if you've ever wanted to change your style and be a little more bohemian, we're gonna show you guys what you need. Let's get started. Yay! So we both have five different bohemian wardrobe essentials that we're going to share with you guys today and we're just going to go back and forth. So, um, well, you're my guest so I'll let you go first. Oh! Okay, so one of my very favorite essentials that I um, I'm afraid to admit how often I wear is a hat just like this and typically it's because I don't feel like doing my hair. <laughs> it's the truth. Um, so I have lots and lots of hats and so this is one that's one of my favorites because there's history with this hat. Ooh. This hat, as you can tell, is like a little ratty. Um, this was my uncle's hat. He's a cowboy and he used to wear this in the rodeo and so he gave this to me and I was like, oh my gosh. And that's the cool thing about bohemian pieces like yeah. the more like history or characteristics to it like the better my first essential that I want to share with you guys is maxi skirts I feel like this is a very big one and it really doesn't matter what color I think black is a good one to start with but I have a maroon burgundy color one and I love it I wear it all the time I think maxi skirts especially like the tight fitting ones are very flattering. They're so comfortable and you can style it so many different ways so that's why I think it's a key piece to a bohemian wardrobe. I have a little bit of an obsession with boots. <laughs> I have tons of pairs of boots and a lot of them are mostly black. I think <laughs> I only have actually one other color and it's brown. Um, but I love boots so they just, I think any sort of outfit that you're wearing Typically, maybe even if you would wear sandals, I would sometimes choose boots over it to just make it look a little bit more boho. So even on like 4th of July recently, I was like wearing denim shorts, but I wore boots with it. So I just have lots and lots of boots. So my next essential is statement necklaces. And this one I'm wearing is from sparklesandpop.com and I'm obsessed with it. I wear it so, so much, it's embarrassing. I just love all the details that the necklace has and I feel like it gives the outfit a slightly edgy feel, but it's still very bohemian. I am loving fringe. Anything with fringe on it. I have this leather vest that I got. Well, it's pleather because I got it from Forever 21, so it's definitely not real leather. But I've had this vest since, oh gosh, I'd say probably for the last five years to be honest, and it's still in style. Um, I love it, and then I just have a couple different items, a crop top, and then I also have a kimono with fringe, and um, I also have these little boots with fringe on them too. They're like little moccasin boots. They're super, super cute. I think another essential that is key is having a good white dress, like a flowy dress, because you can style it so many different ways, and it gives it a very like airy, bohemian look feel and this one has lace at the bottom which I think is such a cute touch so I really like that I got this dress from a boutique in Irvine called Caitlin and it's just super super cute and comfortable and I literally wear this all the time but you wouldn't even know it because I style it so many different ways 
There you go. Mm -hmm. That's a really good point. And you know what? That wasn't like one of my top five, but now that I think about it, it totally, like, I have probably a couple of different white dresses that I wear all the time, and it's true, you can style them so different, add a vest on top of it, mm -hmm. do whatever, and make it look so different, add a cool belt to it. I think, yeah, like, there's lots of different ways. You're right. That's a really, really good one. So, my next essential item is one of my favorites. I am from Tucson, Arizona. I don't know if you've heard of the Gem Show. Mm -hmm. Have you? Okay, I guess you would say like it's kind of like a convention, and people come from all over the world and mm -hmm. sell gems and stuff. And that's where you can get, this is my next item, is turquoise. I am obsessed with anything turquoise. And the genuine turquoise can be really pricey, but at the gem show you can get it for really cheap. So one of my favorite turquoise pieces that I have is an heirloom. It's my mom's ring from when she was probably younger than me, and I kind of adopted it. <laughs> I wear it all the time, and it's one of my favorite, favorite pieces, but I do have lots of different turquoise stuff, but I just really feel like the stones and sort of crystals and stuff like that really add to a really little home vibe. My last essential is a lace vest. I think, I don't know why, but when I think of like boho, I think of lace. I really like this lace vest that I got from H&M. I've had it for years. Um, I'm so surprised that it's lasted this long, but it's such a key piece in my wardrobe that I just can't get rid of because you can style it, again, so many different ways, and I think that's key when it comes to finding like these wardrobe essentials, is finding pieces that you can style several different ways, and I think a lace vest is one of them. And I love that vest. If you are missing it later, no, I'm, just <laughs> I'm just kidding. I will know where, it, yeah, where it's like, gone you to. You don't know where I live, so. <laughs> so I guess since the f I started, then I guess I'm gonna wrap it too, because mm -hmm. it's a perfect even 10. So, um, if you guys have made it this long, the very last one is a really fun one, because it's amazing to me how style kind of makes its rounds and it kind of comes back around. So remember when we all used to wear bell bottoms? And then there was a while where we were like, oh my gosh, no, skinny jeans only. Bell well, bottoms are so nerdy. Bell <laughs> bottoms are back, you guys. They're back and they're in full swing and I love them. Yeah. And I have a couple bell bottom pants that I really, really love. Um, I mean, I don't even know where. I picked these up at little random boutiques for super cheap, probably like $10, $15. I'm a huge bargain shopper. Ja Jackie's now realizing this about me. I was like showing her through my closet. I'm like, oh, that was like $5. Ten dollars. Five dollars. This needs to be like another video. Like we need to learn all of her secrets so we can shop smart. <laughs> yeah, I can show you some places in LA that you will be shocked how cheap it is. But so bell bottoms though, I think they're really fun and they add like a really um, I don't know, a cool vibe. Again, like, accessorizing them the right way and just wearing, you know, sometimes you can wear like a cool button down or you can wear a crop top with them. There's plenty of ways. And again, with a vest or a jacket, anything like that. Kimono, for sure. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys found it helpful and got some tips on how to spruce up a bohemian wardrobe. So make sure you go check out Lynette's channel. I'm gonna leave it linked below. We also did a lookbook video over there, so if you want more bohemian inspiration, go check it out. And yeah, go subscribe. You guys are gonna love her because I love her. Oh, and so sweet. she's awesome. I'm so glad that you came over. Yay, thank you for having me. This was so much fun. So fun. Okay. Thumbs up if you wanna see more collabs. Yay. So that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, have a magical day. <laughs> I love it. Twin. I love it. Right we are twinning so hard. Yay. The hardest. I can feel my face when I'm with you.